Hi folks, Steve Miller here with Mercury Racing for BoatDealers.ca. I'm here today to give you a little bit of an overview about our exciting new flagship, the V8 Supercharged 4.6 liter 500R. So the 500R is our latest flagship and it's so much more than just a hopped up 450. It may use that same platform, but there's some amazing enhancements in this engine that not only bring the power level up, but the durability to make sure that it'll run for you years and years. So let's start with the power head here. It's a 4.6 liter V8 supercharged outboard power, just like the 450, but the internals are enhanced for more durability. So there's a stronger crankshaft with a one inch spline. There's new crank bearings. There's enhanced pistons, rods, and rod bearings. There's a performance calibration that takes it up to 6,600 RPM redline, which is 200 more than the 450R. The supercharger puts out 26% higher boost. And with the supercharger comes some intake enhancements, a bigger 92 millimeter throttle body to flow air easier into the engine, and some enhancements also to the charge air cooler to make it more efficient and just increase the whole mass airflow that goes into the engine, which is what helps it develop all that incredible torque and power. So it's about 10% higher torque than the 450R. It's uh, so obviously 50 more horsepower, still runs on readily available 89 octane pump fuel. Now the one feature I really want to talk about on this engine is something really exciting, is we've added a humidity sensor in the intake attenuator on the engine. Now as far as we know, I don't think anybody's done humidity uh, compensation on an outboard. Now if you've ever boated in the hot, humid summer months down in Florida, um, you'll know that sometimes you, the boat's not going quite as fast as it normally would in the cooler months. And a lot of that has to do with those ambient conditions where it makes it harder for an engine to make power. So the humidity sensor works in concert with the air temp sensor and the air pressure sensor to feed the ECM valuable information. And what it will do is use that to provide the most aggressive spark timing possible so that even in those hot, humid summer months, you don't experience that power drop that you would have previously. So you get consistent performance, everything this engine puts out all year round, whether it's the cooler months or the warmer, more humid months. So let's move down to the midsection. This is the new Advanced Racing Core or ARC midsection. All kinds of structural improvements and enhancements here. Um, obviously with this much more power and torque, you know, the midsection is the infrastructure that holds it all together and, and makes sure that everything's as durable and solid in terms of boat handling and drivability as it can be. So we've got much stronger, more robust transom plates with seven mounting bolt holes. That allows you to have an additional three inches of engine height adjustment on the back of the boat versus the 450R with its five bolt system. In addition to the uh, trim rams that you have here, there's also a couple of smaller boost ramps here, which gives you more trim authority when this engine's under full load. So that's very critical. Like all racing engines, we slow down the trim rate a little bit so you can better fine tune the amount of trim uh, to maximize your performance, especially at, at top end. And that's a very important feature as well. Obviously, a lot of our products use rear tie bar, so we offer rear tie bar uh, models, X Factory with a rear tie bar bracket here. Um, and then as we uh, also would do is we have uh, stiffer engine mounts. Um, we have stronger guide plates with tighter tolerances and clearances. Um, all that helps control the boat handling and give you the best possible drivability. And then finally, we move down to an all new gear case. Now this gear case is what we call our drive. Our drive is kind of a crescent leading edge style gear case. It's got a 5.9 inch diameter torpedo on it with an intermediate spray plate. Um, all of these things uh, work together to give you the best possible hydrodynamic performance and stability um, in a gear case today. We have two versions of our drive. We have our drive uh, as a base model, and then we have our drive sport. So the base model um, will use a nose cone system, and these are adjustable nose cones that have uh, different amounts of cooling holes in them so that you can really dial in or optimize engine cooling based on the boat and the setup, uh, which is very critical as well. There are also low water pickups on the bottom of the gear case torpedo. And um, the, 
the gear case features an inch and a half prop shaft, which is up a quarter of an inch from the inch and a quarter used by the 450R. The R-Draw Sport kind of takes it to the next level. It's got a longer skeg with a little bit of a different profile to it. It's got a different nose cone that peeks out a little bit more um, for maximum performance. And most importantly, it has a much stronger prop shaft on it because the R-Drive Sport is the variant of the gear case that's designed to run fully surfaced. And in running fully surfaced means you've got the highest amounts of loading and unloading of the gear case that you're gonna experience out on the water. So the prop shaft on the R-Drive Sport is made from an aerospace stainless steel alloy, very similar to what we use on our M6 and M8 stern drive. So very rigid, very robust, very strong. And so the whole system combines into um, really an, an amazing new flagship product, still available with three years of factory warranty out the door and the ability to purchase up to five years more of Mercury product protection. So durability that we back up with a strong warranty and all that power and all that torque in the new 500R. If you want to learn more about this engine, check out mercuryracing.com backslash 500R.